Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is click on file and new as always. Over here, I'm going to change it from pixels to inches like this. And I'm going to be using a 4 by 5.5 inches. Right? So every other thing here stays the same. And um, I'm going to click RGB 300 and create documents. And yes. The first thing I'm going to go on to do is I'm going to go on to my rectangle tool and um, of course I'm going to draw a rectangle to cover up this empty canvas that I have. Right? That's the first thing. So the next thing I'm going to do, go over to my text tool and I'm going to type something here. I'm going to change the font. The font I use is the Sarah Pro Black. Right, so you can get all of this in the Smart Designer Premium Assets. So I'm just going to, the link to get that is in the description of this video. So I'm just going to make this big like this. And uh, I'm just going to leave it here. Right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, make it white, select the rectangle and make it black. And please get rid of the outline. Or you can also come here and remove the outline, click on. So select the tree itself and let's modify this. So what I'm going to do is make sure it's on white. Right, white. Good. So um, go over to your pencil tool, hold it and click on the knife tool. Hold down your shift key and drag a straight line like this. Hold down your shift key again and drag a straight line to dissect this. So we now have three parts. Right, so one, two, three. Now, if you don't see that, you know you've done the wrong thing. The next thing I have going to do next is I'm going to go over to my field tool and I'm going to drag from this point to this point here. Right? And let me zoom closer. I'm going to click on this point here to add an extra note to this line. Click on this, make it black, as you can see. So I can move this closer and move this other color away from it and I can stretch this out while I bring this in so this is the first one so we don't go ahead trying to repeat this and do on other um, dissected parts go over to window and go over to general under general make sure you turn on the swatches now I can as well leave my swatches here or I can choose to dock it inside here now to keep this interface clean, I will dock it inside. Now, I'm working with gradients. So with this one now, when you open yours, you might see it on colors like this. So click on this and navigate to where you have gradients. And to add this, you want to click on this, add current fill. And you can see it has added this. So I can go ahead and um, click on this next one and come over to my swatches and click on the gradients. So this is a, a good way to actually add gradient to swatches and so that you don't re-add them and you know, it makes your work easy. You work smart and not too hard. So I'm just going to have this and uh, click on this one, click on my swatches and uh, I'm just going to modify this. You can see how easy that is. So I'm just going to modify this this way like this and um, yeah, have this done. So I can select three of them like this and um, click on where you have color. By default, you have opacity, but where you can use to increase and decrease. But when you click on this, you're going to see the noise, right? So I'm going to add noise, make sure the value is set to 100, right? To give it this special effect. Right. So I can then go on to select the three of them and group them. Go on through G to group them. Let me modify this. And uh, go on through G to group them like this. Then you can rename your group. So I'm just going to give this a very, very simple name. Number three. Right. So number three, that's the name of my group. I'm going to go over to adjustment and I'm going to click on the color. So with this, I'm going to impute a value of 
280. Click enter when you're done to get this color. This is the color I'm going to use. Right? Make sure your saturation is set to 100 and lightness is set to zero. So this is what I'm going to be using for this. So um, let me quickly adjust this point here. Oops, sorry. Sorry. I'm going to drag this down here. And for this, I'm going to move this inward like this. Move this also inward like this. And we're set so I can close this up. The next thing I'm going to do is, um, let me stay. Okay. Go over to the resource file. The link to the resource file in this is in the description of this video. Make sure you click the description of this video to get the link to download these things from, right? And also you can join the community where you can ask questions about affinity or Coral Draw, right? Any questions you have, you can just drop your questions there. And of course, I'll be sure to answer them. So with this one, I'm going to click on this. And um, I'm going to add the point here. Instead of just bringing down, I'm going to add the point here. This is the blend mode. If you're familiar with Photoshop, this is the blend mode inside of Affinity, right? So I'm going to bring this down to have a nice blend, as you can see. And also, I'm going to do the same thing here, but I'm going to invert this to create something like this. When I'm done, I'm going to go to the blend mode and I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay to have this nice calm effect. You can see how beautiful this is. So having done this, I'm just going to go over to my resource file again. And um, I think I'm going to leave my opacity like this. This is nice. I'm going to go over to my resource file and bring in this. So I'm just going to drag this and drop this inside here. I'm going to hold down control and shift to rotate this. And I'm going to position this here. And I'm just going to make this bigger while I move it upward like this. I'm going to turn the blend mode to screen to create this nice vert effect, right? This grungy effect. So I'm going to leave this here. Easy peasy, opacity set to 70 or 71. So I'm just going to leave it here. And um, of course, I have to save time. And uh, let me take this downwards. Okay. So this is perfect. So I'm going to go over to my access file again. And I'm going to bring in my text. I uh, typed that out already. So I'm just going to leave the text here. Push it down a little bit. And um, it's just going to be here like this. So the last thing we're going to do here is adjustment layer. And of course, we're going to use the color balance to actually put the colors in check. So I'm just going to be adding a magenta to the mid-tones, the shadows. Not too much, you're not doing too much. And uh, for the highlights, going all the way down to magenta and as you can see we have a poster ready right so guys if you've gained something valuable from this video make sure you are uh, subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any other videos and make sure you like this video and of course sharing is nice make sure you share this video i will see you in the next video just up ahead ciao